Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to another week of the Excel Curation Corner. In this video, I share with you some awesome blogs that I have read that are related to Excel from around the web in the last week or so. Now this week, I have five blogs to share with you and you'll find a link to each one of these blog posts below this video. So do hop over and make sure you take a read of all of these blog posts and show these authors a little bit of support. Now, when I was looking at these blog posts, I was going to send some bat tips to any of the authors that I curate in today's video, but none of the authors are actually Brave Verified again this week. So there is a link below this video for content creators to find out how you can become Brave Certified. And if you get curated by me in this video again, I will be sending you some Brave tips. I would also encourage everybody else that's using the Brave browser and watching this video to send some Brave tips to these authors as well. So what have I got in store for you this week? Well, as I said, I have a five pieces of content to share with you today. Something for everybody, something for people, no matter what your skill level is in Excel. And I hope that you will drop a comment below this video and tell me which one is your favorite one. So the first article that we are going to look at today is from How To Excel. It's from John and it's three ways to calculate um, correlation coefficient in Excel. Now, coefficient is a measurement of how related two variables are. And this is a really great article because it goes through how to calculate the correlation coefficient manually. So if we just scroll down here through the post, it goes through the manual method. And then, as you can see, formula by formula to get the values for the manual method. It then looks at the Corel function, which I've covered myself in the past. So that is a great little function to calculate your correlation. And finally, then it looks at the statistical tools as well. Now, the statistical tools are really great and there's loads of different options in there and correlation is one of them. So that is three ways to calculate correlation coefficient in Excel by John on how to Excel. And you'll find a link below this video. So hop over and say hello. So the next blog post that we are going to look at is from Summit in Trump Excel. Now, this is how to remove macros from an Excel workbook. And there's often a case where you're going to need to remove macros. And one of the options included in this article was something I hadn't considered before. So the first way we can see is by removing the macros by saving the file in a non-macro supported way. He then goes on to explain how to remove macros from the macro dialog box. And the third and the final is to remove the module that has the macros. Now, this is not something that I would have thought of doing, so do hop over and have a read, but VBA isn't my strong point. And I have often, when doing audits and stuff like that, had to remove macros from a workbook. So this is a great video on how to do that easily. The third article that we have is from onlinetechtips.com, and it's written by Gavin Phillips. Now, this is how to securely password protect an Excel file. Now, I know many years ago in older versions of Excel, the password protection wasn't really great and you could actually hack it if you knew how and many people did know how, but that's greatly improved over the years. And in this article, it goes through how to protect the Excel sheet using the protection in Microsoft Excel, but we also get other options as well. And these options are 7-zip, then there is the Windows encryption for file system, and then the last one is AXcrypt. So these are all tools that you can use to password protect and encrypt your Excel files for security reasons. And there's many reasons why you would want to do that in an organization. So that is how to securely password protect an Excel file by Gavin Phillips, and it's online tech tips. And again, you'll find a link below the video 
for this um, straight to this article. And again, they aren't bat certified, so I haven't sent them on any bat tips, but if they get certified and curated again, they will. Now, the next article, this is a bit of fun. So in previous curation videos, I shared some, I shared a video from Bill Jellings on um, the data types. So this article is on these new data types again, and it's directly from the insideroffice.com. Now the article itself is from a program manager on the Excel team, it's from Sam. And basically what it is, it's a file that you can download and it's a trivia that you can play based on asking different questions. Okay, now this trivia is based on data types. And if we scroll down through the article, it does go through how it works and it shows these hidden sheets that are in the workbook and how they're used to create the quiz that you will get in the workbook. So the sheet setup is in there and the guessing sheet and that. So you can read this to see how it works, but it's a great use of the data types, a great fun use of the data types. It shows how creative people can start getting now that these data types are available. So just out of curiosity and for a little bit of fun and something a little more, bit more refreshing, do hop over to the Insider Office and it is Try Trivia with Data Types in Excel by Sam. Now the next article and the final article I have for you today is a massive, massive article. It's on shandude.org and it is a power query tutorial. What is it? How to use it? Full examples, tips and tricks. Now, as you can see from the table of content, there's an awful lot covered in this particular article from what is Power Query to a bit of an orientation, how to activate it. And then there's all these examples where you can download files and you can work through them. So if you're new to Power Query, definitely hop over and have a look, even if you're advanced, because there's some great little tips in here that you can pick up. Now, one of the things I really liked about this article if we scroll down is this power query as a mind map. Like power query can do so, so, so much from cleaning data, transforming data, connecting to data from just allowing you to automate different tasks. And this mind map lays it all out. Now you can zoom in to the mind map and get a better look of what's going on. But I thought this was really, really novel and a great addition to the blog post. So do hop over to shandu.org, take a look at this article on Power Query. I will drop a link below this video so you can jump straight over to the article. So that's it for this week's Excel Curation Corner. I do hope that you liked some, if not all, of the articles that I shared with you this week. If you have a favorite article that you read this week and I haven't included it, why don't you drop it in the comments below? I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to see what it is that you are reading in Excel. So until next time, take it easy and I will see you next week. Goodbye now.